Well, I tell you what, people, it's always some shit in the game, man. Boy, I hate being a Niner fan. I got to hear this shit at work all the goddamn time. Motherfuckers on the news talking shit. But I ain't doing my hitting facts up, man. Do, do me a favor. Like this video, share, subscribe. Hit that notification icon. You'll be notified every time I drop any type of content. Hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Please do so. Yo, man, your boy is still fucked off. Because that punk-ass Super Bowl last night, man. That shit pissed me the fuck off. I mean, how the fuck? Man, hey, man, I'm sorry. I only got like a couple of hours of sleep on the situation. I told myself I would not think about it, but, man, they, the shit is everywhere around me right about now, man. Just gave the fucking game up. But anyway, I got some stuff to talk about. Jay-Z and Beyonce. Uh, Jay Scott of ASAP Mob Rock. Uh, ASAP Mob has died. It's a lot going on, man. So let's tune on in and see what it do. Wow, wow. These motherfuckers here talking about the goddamn game. I sure don't want to hear this shit. Yeah, man. But yeah, did y'all hear about what Jay-Z and Beyonce did not stand during the national anthem at the Super Bowl? Did y'all hear that? I heard a little bit something about it. Yeah, Jay-Z and Beyonce and their kid, Blue Ivy, chose not to stand up for the national anthem at the Super Bowl, even with Jay being a big partner of the league now. Wow, ain't that something? <laughs> the Carters were sitting together in a few rows back from the field, and they clearly didn't have to make an effort to get up to, during the Demi Lovato service, you know, a performance or whatnot. A guy who appears to be a bodyguard of theirs was standing, though, as was pretty much everyone else around them was sitting down. Mm -mm -mm. DJ Kelly came along afterward and said hi to the fam, then dabbed it up with security guard. Everyone seemed to be in a pretty good mood, despite the apparent statement just made. Yes, Jay-Z and Beyonce sat their asses down. They were not hearing that shit, but damn, here go my thing. Why the fuck did you partner up with the NBA, NFL and this, and this bullshit we got last night? What the fuck was that last night? I don't know. It's interesting, of course, because Jay-Z has teamed up with the NFL to shine a light on pro police brutality and criminal justice system and other cases important to him and the black community. Did y'all see some type of performance of it last night? Hell no. Nah. We just seen a whole bunch of people acting like they were broke and doing all this Vogue dancing and shit. These people are supposed to be 50 years old up there trying to shake ass. Is this what you want your children to look at? Is this what you want your children to look at? But this is Jay-Z. Hey, Jay-Z, how is this helping police brutality? You please tell me. I mean, could you tell me? Please tell me. I just don't know. Oh, man. But, hey, they, I guess they did their little Colin Kaepernick thing and, and didn't stand. I wonder if Roger Goodell going to kind of push him on out the door. I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. And, oh, man, we got some more. We got some bad news, ladies and gentlemen. Jay Scott of ASAP Mob uh, has died. I guess that was uh, ASAP Rocky's uh, DJ. He was one of the members, you know. On Sunday, tweets started from the surface. Fellow ASAP Mob members and friends, Jay Scott refer referring, uh, reference on his uh, passing. God, dog, man, everybody is leaving. Everybody's leaving. Scott, who also went by ASAP uh, Snacks, was a jack of all trades for ASAP Mob. He was an official DJ for ASAP Rocky and the Kazi Boys, as well as the manager for multiple artists. Scott was also a creative partner in a lot of the collective venues and producer. Jay uh, Scott is originally from Atlanta. During the conversation with the Ultra, uh, Ultra Olive, Jay Scott explained that he got connected with ASAP Mob after moving to New York City then meet ASAP Yams, who asked him to DJ for rock. Wow. Well, man, it's just, it's hard to see these young boys dying, man. I don't know what the cause is. I'm going to leave a link in the description box, and we're going to see what it is. But uh, I got some uh, I got some audio before I go back, man, talk about little, uh, little Boosted Sentencing. He got sentenced today. Well... 
he got sentenced. But I believe uh, he it went down to a misdemeanor. I'm gonna put a link in the description box on that. Well, I don't have the audio for me, y'all, but I am gonna put a link in the description box for you all. I want to thank you for taking your time and sacrifice and putting your eyeballs on this screen. Do me a favor, like this video, share, subscribe, hit that notification icon. You'll be notified every time I drop any type of content. Peace and a bottle of high grease.